Hello and welcome. There you go, John. Good morning, John. Good morning. Hello, hey, everyone. welcome everybody to uh, the edition of, you saw the new show today, it's called Releasing Negative Emotions. Hey, what do you guys do? I don't know, Captain Obvious. Take a look at the title, Releasing Negative Emotions. What does that even mean? Well, I know that you know what a negative emotion is. I, imagine the ability to think, oh, I'm ticked off right now. And then John and I could delete it for you. Just delete it. Or maybe you're angry or maybe you're having anxiety or, or some kind of panic or some kind of negative thoughts. We release those negative emotions so you don't have to feel them and have them. It doesn't serve you to have them or feel them. So the name change, releasing negative emotions, that's what we do, and we're gonna do it live here again today. Not only if you're feeling fear, we could delete the, uh, the physical emotions causing that, but what about physical pain? Today, you're gonna to understand that these trapped emotions or these negative emotions here, the size of a baseball, I imagine five or six of them around your stiff neck. We're looking for you today. Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Loge. I'm here every Friday, Saturday, rather, with John. We are the bros on the Releasing Negative Emotion Show. We're on episode 216. That means for 216 Saturdays, we've been here helping you understand more about how the Emotion Code can help you and your body and your mind. I'm live here in Victoria, BC. Good morning, John. Good morning. Yes, my name is John Inverarity. I'm a certified emotion code and body code practitioner. And hey, if you're watching live, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, also on the West Coast. It's always good to know who's with us here. And of course, we're going to be working on a couple people today. So we are looking for volunteers. So stick around or tag your friend with aches and pains. Okay. Should be an exciting show today. Yeah. Well, the whole notion, you know, might even take a paradigm shift for someone to believe that it's possible that you or I could delete somebody's physical pain during a Facebook live call from the chat. Listen, we've been doing it for 216 episodes. Have, have a Michael and John marathon this weekend and go check out all the things. This month we're focusing on aches and pains. We've done lots of things, John. We're not prepared, but let's just build the list. We, uh, we help people with nasal passages, with seasonal allergies, with food cravings, Halloween candy cravings. Uh, improve relationships uh, with business, client attractions, financing, prosperity. Hands and feet too cold. Yeah, confidence, self-worth. Incompetence. Hey, listen, yeah. it's all emotion related. Check out some of the episodes. Many times when we're working on something physical with people, they report live during the chat their results. You know, one of the things that John and I will do before we work on somebody is we want to find out this. A severity on a scale of 1 to 10. So someone will say, yeah, you know, it's been average like an 8 out of 10, so quite severe. So then, you know, we get to work, we clear out these negative emotions, and they're like, yeah, you know, you know, it's down. It's, it's like a 3 right now. So, yeah. And how do we do that for you? How do we do that at a distance on an island and near Vancouver, and you could be any in the world? Well, we become your... Proxy. So we act as a proxy on your behalf. So we're trained, certified practitioners. You can just sit back relax at home and we get to work so yeah we use the emotion code chart that's our number one tool yeah. and so we use muscle testing to find out which trapped emotion on the chart is contributing to these aches and pains yeah, and, yeah. let's talk about muscle testing for a moment you know muscle testing john and i have similar styles where we're depending on our muscles to lock up or let go and it's through your connection so this proxy piece, I know it's not easy to understand, and I don't really get it other than I can do it, right? But if you pretend that, uh, or if you imagine you come to my home and you look at your phone and you say, hey, Michael, I see that, yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming the Wi-Fi called attraction is yours. Yeah, Captain Obvious, it's mine. My friend is connectable, but not connected, right, John? So you and I can, we're connectable to people, but we're not connected. Otherwise, we'd be working on our neighbors and our family and our friends. But we just can't work with everybody. Just like if you came to my house and said, I see you're on Wi-Fi. I said, you're connected. You're able to connect. 
but you need the password. And then I give them my Wi-Fi password, then they get on. John, same with you and I. We are connectable to our client's uh, subconscious mind, but here's what we need. Permission. That is the password. It's just a yes. Okay. Yes. I give you my permission. That's right. So a big picture, John and I are going to be using muscle testing. And muscle testing, we use it because it answers yes or no questions. So all the questions that we can ask are yes or no questions. And our goal is to find out which one of these emotions or on other charts that we have are causing this physical pain. And we're going to use my, your brain, your subconscious mind will lock our fingers when we find the right one. And of course, it's in the question it has to be very specific. Uh, again, yes or no answers, and that's what we'll do. John, let's say hello to some of our friends watching live here today on the Releasing Negative Emotion Show. Go ahead, please. Yeah, if you're watching, say hello uh, from Facebook or YouTube. Uh, and yeah, Natasha Paula Samuel is here as always. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Good morning. G. Butler's here. Says hello, gentlemen. And Nicole Stewart says good morning. Yeah. Hey, Julie. Gary, Gigi's on YouTube. Julie uh, Boyer is here. Says so hello, good morning. Yeah. Well, good. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Hey, listen, we would like to have the opportunity today to demonstrate. Well, first, the purpose of the show is kind of to expose this work of Dr. Bradley Nelson called the Emotion Code, and that there's ways to get healing and feel relief and feel calmness in your head and your mind and your energy a new way by deleting the negative emotions that are causing it. That's our goal is to say, hey, did you know this is available? That's our first goal. Our second goal is so you can, someone can demonstrate it. So we can get a volunteer, do a session so you can see what it's like, hear the results. And our third goal is we, we'd like to be your practitioner. And we'll tell you at the end what you could do to uh, have your own one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, John, a few more people have joined. Yeah, lots of people joining in this morning. Hello, Kathleen Langley says, hi, uh, Shamina for, uh, says, good morning. Hey, Shamina. Yeah, and Amir says, always happy to be here and on Clubhouse with you, Michael. Yeah, that's my friend Amir. He's joined some of my conversations before, so we are pretty excited. John, we are looking for a volunteer today. Tell our friends uh, what we need from them to uh, play the Releasing Trapped Emotions game with us. Yeah, really simple. And so long-term aches and pains, meaning, you know, like six months or more kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, location of the pain. So yeah, I have neck pain, upper back pain, arm pain, elbow pain. Tell us where it is and give us a severity on a scale of one to 10. 10 being, you know, most severe and zero being, well, it wouldn't be a zero. Otherwise you wouldn't be volunteering. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So where's the pain? Give it like I have, yeah, we have a volunteer here right now and Nicole saying, uh, carpal tunnel. So, so, so here's what we'll we'll do around that, Joe, because we like to work on the symptom. Symptoms. We don't yeah. know what carpal tunnel means, because so John, to tell Nicole how to break that down so we get rid of the medical term, because we don't know what that means to what right. is really happening. Yeah. So where's the pain and is and and the severity? So carpal tunnel, you know, we can assume that's wrist pain or hand pain, but is it left? Is it right? Is it, you know, a little bit further up? Uh, so just like specific, yeah, very, very specifics. Okay, so um, I think uh, you'll work with Nicole here, uh, which means John's gonna become Nicole's proxy, gonna do an emotion code session. Today we're doing synchronized sessions. So we wanna give as many people an opportunity. Um, uh, uh, Sh uh, Shamina is talking about sinus problems. We do help with that. It's not today's subject. We've done this episode on it. And it's definitely something we work with one-on-one. -on -one. It's very common. Uh, blocked nasal passages, seasonal allergies. It's not the pollen in the air. It's one of these buggers right here. So we can uh, eliminate your seasonal allergies, clear up your breathing uh, in a one-on-one -on -one session. Right, yeah. So we got more information from Nicole. Thank you very much. Immobile right wrist. Perfect. Right. And it's seven. Okay, Kathleen is also here volunteering. Five-year back pain, upper right uh big not can not release maybe um upper right back yeah 
So I'm going to look at the five years. So five year back pain, upper right. So upper right. And upper right. Upper right back. Okay. Upper yeah, right maybe. Back. Yeah, I'm guessing it's kind of like around the shoulder blade or something. Oh, she said it's a seven. Okay. Upper right. Yeah. Yeah, upper right back, the shoulder blade. Uh, good. Let's say uh, keep uh, saying hello here. Um, our friend Pramilia, she's so great for us. She she promotes our show on our newsletter and on our social media. So we uh, we appreciate you, Pramilia. On the island where I live here on Vancouver Island and Canada's west coast. So John, I am going to work with Kathleen, and um, just a quick reminder: here's how this happens using the emotion code chart and muscle testing for yes or no answers. I am going to become Kathleen's proxy and on her behalf because she gave me permission. Oh, we didn't say the big kahuna, John. Yeah, so big deal. They found an emotion. Big deal. You found it. Then what, John? Say it when you see it. Uh, we release it. So we use a magnet. Any magnet will do. And we take that magnet, we swipe it over. Governing Meridian just kind of looks like this. Actually, you should grab my magnet here. It looks like this. And so the whole process finds that emotion, surfaces it, and with our intention, amplified by the magnet through the whole meridian system, clears out the emotion. Okay, so I'm gonna start the process here and then uh, I'll narrate a bit and then John will start his and then uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see where we have the same style that we always like to know our work, right, John? So we're both gonna say, well, what is the severity of it? And then we're gonna delete and then we'll test and delete and. Uh, We'll just kind of spring back and forth. So here's my method of muscle testing. This is a yes, that's a no. By the way, I have a video with a course and a workbook. It's a free program if you want to. Maybe um, Kathleen, uh, you can do this. Put this in the chat for me. www.michaellozier.com forward slash muscle testing. Really? I should have that right here and I don't. So next yeah, I'm putting yeah. Kathleen to work here. Why am I dictating? I'm on, I, have, I have the best software here to do all of that. But I'm connecting with Kathleen Langley right now. These are all no. This is a no. That's a yes. And it's, I call it the drawbridge technique. I mean, that's the only one that moves. This is a yes. That's a no. So I'm just scanning for Kathleen. I have her permission. She's with me right now. It's right there. Am I Michael? Am I John? Am I Kathleen? There you go. Good. So I'm just going to put my shoulders uh, back. But uh, so here's my first yes or no question. It is going to end up being a yes or no. You know, I was telling Michael about this upper right back problem pain that I've had for many years. What is the daily average severity of the discomfort from one to 10? Is it, is it one, these are notes, is it one, two, three, four, five, six? And right now is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? And how painful can it get? Five, six, seven, eight. So she has it all the time. This isn't like, oh, it's showing up. When it, even when it's not severe, I mean, its highest point is still there. So we're agreeing that it's about a seven. She's saying seven, yes. Now, here's the real question. Her subconscious mind knows everything. What is the percentage this pain is caused by emotions? Over 10%, 15, 90, over 99, over 100? No, under 100, 100. So 100% of this physical pain in my right shoulder is caused by an old negative emotion. Yes. Okay, we're drilling down. Does Michael have a chart with all of them on it? Yes. And just as an average, how many emotions can I be looking for? One. See, all that question to find that out. But uh -huh. Is it five, four, three, two, one? Is this my emotion? No, it's not mine. Did I inherit it from my mom or my dad? Is it absorbed? Did I absorb this from, is this somebody else's emotion? Yes. Is it trapped or trauma? So it's on a different chart. Is it A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 3, 4, 5? Now, the, the term, it's going, to sound, it's going to sound severe, the word, but uh, you could have been at the dentist office or near the scene of an accident, but whenever this happened, you absorb someone's trauma. They were having the trauma of um, um, torture. Is this the trauma of torture? Was this mine? No. Did I create it? No, but... This person was having, you might have been consoling them or in the room or on the street, right, John, or near them where it's like, and you didn't even have to know them. So this is a dense one. So how many trapped emotions, I mean, so how many swipes of the magnet will it take? Over 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 50. Okay, let's delete that. I have a magnet. John, talk about this process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the 
any magnet will do. And the magnet goes over the governing meridian. So yeah, the whole process, you know, surfaces that emotion, that little ball of energy. And yeah, the magnet amplifies our attention, goes through the governing meridian, which connects up to all the meridians throughout your body and clears it out. Normally it's, you know, three swipes of the magnet for inherited, you can do 10. But this one, Michael Muscle tested that it's, you know, dense, fairly significant, and it's going to just take a little bit more, mm -hmm. a little bit more work. Yeah. Well, pain. my suspicion was how could one trapped emotion create so much pain? And I, you know, so to me, they're, they're bigger and thicker. But so before I'm going to check my work now, I'm not done. So before today's session, what was the severity of this upper right shoulder back pain that I was having? Was it 10, 9, 8, 7? And now it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. On my left shoulder and my right shoulder, are they in alignment? Yes. Are there any trapped emotions from my right ear all the way to the top of the right shoulder? No. How about on the shoulder? How about on the back shoulder blade? How about that spot? How about? Isn't that funny? Is that how about? How? I'm trying to get a yes or no question. How about the spot that I was telling Michael about that was a 7? Are there any more pains there? Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to disconnect, and it might be like round one. So, uh, uh, Kathleen, just be gentle with your shoulders and come back and give us a new number. John, tell us who you are going to be helping today. Right, yeah, Nicole volunteered. So, immobile right wrist, severity is a seven. And I don't think I have a timeline, but, I mean, if it's diagnosed carpal tunnel, it's I assume cool. it's been years and years. It did so, happen this morning. <laughs> Right, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll just focus on that a mobile right wrist. We're gonna set the intention to, you know, increase that flexibility, decrease the pain, right? So I'm just gonna connect up to Nicole Stewart here. So my muscle testing, I use my hands here, it looks like this. So with intention, just tune in, connect up Nicole, proxy, proxy, proxy. So I can act as a proxy for Nicole. Yes, okay, good. And Nicole, ready for a session here. Yeah, so uh, she says, oh, it's last week or so. It's a new thing. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's it. We'll see what we can do. Usually for like the short term, like a week or something, like acute, it's more like, you know, rest it, don't use it, ice kind of a thing. Like, um, so it's kind of like that. Your, your body needs time to like get into there and heal that area. And, and if it's not healing within, you know, like six months, then, you know, there's maybe some trapped emotions in there. So, you know, I've seen more success with like long-term pain, but you know, we'll see what we can do here. So, cause I'm already connected. So yeah, we yeah. might well see what's going on. So Nicole, yeah. yeah. You finish it then to... Yeah. So proxy, proxy here. Yeah, so is there a trapped emotion associated with this, you know, immobile right wrist, creating dysfunction in your right wrist here, Nicole? Is there, is there a trapped emotion? Okay, is it in column A, B odd? Okay, B2, B, is it B2? Hopeless, so trapped emotion of hopeless. Yeah, K needs to know more. No, so we'll clear hopeless. Okay, release. Yeah, and the severity, Nicole said seven, is it? I got a four. So there's another trapped emotion associated with this immobile right wrist, creating dysfunction here. Is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. So it's in column A. Yeah. So I'm looking at my motion code chart right here. Yep. So it's an A odd, A3, sadness, need to know more. No. So we got hopeless first. This is sadness, really sadness. Yeah. So severity of this immobile, discomfort, dysfunction, right wrist. Three, so there's another trapped emotion. So it's rejection, clear rejection. Good, is that release? Another trapped emotion. No, something we do to improve. Trapped emotion we can identify and clear to increase the flexibility function in your right wrist. Yeah. Three or five. So we're into discouragement. Clear discouragement. Anything sound? Uh, anything makes sense? Yeah, let's give us an update. Some people might say, well, where do we get these emotions? Well, you had these emotions, right? And you never processed them because we don't sometimes. And it's an emotion that we held in and we didn't share with anybody. We didn't get stuff or break dishes. And 
And then it, you know how people say, oh, she put up a wall or he's got a wall around him. That's all true. It's all this protection, all this um, unprocessed emotions. And we find them and delete them. And this is what's yeah. called Nicole's challenge. Or like stress, right? Like um, sometimes when people say, this, you know, they've had a stressful situation, stress works, stress at home, that kind of a thing. Or you hold on to stress or stress makes it works. worse. You know, this is basically stress right here. All these emotions are emotional reaction, perception. And um, yeah, it, you know, prevents us from healing. It gets stuck in our body. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Nicole says, some make sense. Sadness makes sense. Okay. Kathleen's giving me an update. If you joined us, she worked, worked on her earlier. Uh, I, I don't actually, I don't understand her answer. She said seven to zero for what you cleared. Okay. <laughs> but then I think something is connected to it because the pain is a five. So is the pain in the same area or is this a pain somewhere else? Uh, make it make sense, please. <laughs> so you got it to a zero. Muscle testing yeah. suggested it, it got to a zero. Oh, I see what she's saying. It's still a five. Okay. So yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in right now then, and uh, good, okay. If there's something else there, yeah. Yeah, I just needed to hear the five, and then because I'm, I'm motivated to get it to zero. Okay, I'm just right. reading with Kathleen here. There we go, and then Michael. So, you know, I'm telling Michael about this upper right side of my back, and I just wanna do a couple of checks here. So, just to make sure, are my left shoulders, right across my shoulder blade, are there trapped emotions there? How many? Five, okay, I'm deleting those. Okay, is there anything else across the left and the right side? How about that one of that area is your five? Is the pain, is it 100% emotion related? How many? One, two, three. Are these trapped? Yes. Okay, I found them. So, okay, now is there any more trapped emotions of any kind anywhere in my body that are contributing to any discomfort or inflexibility in this area that I told Michael? Are they trapped or hidden? Is there any from the? Is there anything else blocking, stopping full flexibility? No. Am I done? Yes. Okay. As we know, John, sometimes it's got to breathe a little bit because as soon as we pull out those negative, you know, when we pull out the negative emotions, it's like kicking out the negative person in your house party. It's like, oh, they're gone, and then everyone's kind of you know settling in because the negative people are gone. The same thing your body. So it's, it still could get better. But give me an update, Kathleen. There was more emotions there. Your subconscious mind told me they were still contributing. So yeah, with the numbers there. So continue. Yeah, we like when it's right away. But yeah, you know, it's, sometimes it takes like 10 minutes or, yeah. or, or a day or something, right? Mm -hmm. So. And it's not uncommon for someone to say, ooh, and, and they're, 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 their hips will drop or their shoulders drop, right? Because imagine baseball-sized emotions stacked up all up in your spine and we're deleting them and go, oh, people can feel the clicking and everything's settling in. So trapped them open sides of the baseball, we delete them for you. Okay, John, we did it. Now, John, here's what I would like to let, uh, have people know, because again, we'd like to be their emotion code practitioner. Can you tell our friends um, what that, uh, just big picture what that's like. John is available here. Uh, his website address will go on the right-hand side aliveandpure.com. John, tell people how they can have an experience, please. Yeah, so go to our website and we have online scheduling. So, you know, you pick your day, pick your time. Uh, we recommend a package like multi sessions to start, you know, two, three sessions to start. That way, you know, we can have a follow up ready to go scheduled and, you know, take care of you. Cool. And simple as that. So book your session, it links up to PayPal and uh, we can send you a, a, a link for a, a Zoom session. And if you're not into that, you know, you can give us a call. We can do it over the phone. And, or for, we do work on pets and kids as well. And so we don't expect them to be on the phone or, or the video. So you can just email us, you know, a list of concerns and you know, we'll work on them and uh, let you know what we cleared. And uh, what else? We have a list of things that uh, we have seen success with on our websites. And so, you, you know, you could make a list, send it if you come with like one thing, okay, but we like, you know, two, three, four, five, six things 
that way we can work on multiple things yeah. and uh, different approaches. Yeah, we want you to cherish every minute with us. So the more you can come prepare with the list and talk about the symptom, then we can get started. In a for me, in a 25 minute session, you know, you know how much chit chat I want in the beginning? Two minutes maximum. That's you telling me what you want because you want 23 minutes with me. Okay. Hey, thank you, John. Uh, here's what else. I have my new body program that is coming up. I've actually booked three of them. Now, I, ju I'm on, I just finished cycle five. That means I had eight of all these eight people just finished cycle five. They would made them Zoom. They had 51 emotion coach sessions over the four weeks. And here is their food items. 96, all people deleted 12 items, 12 times eight. Well, it was more than 96 on here. We had a class reunion. Not one of these people ate one of those food items. And listen to some of them. One of them was McDonald's drive through I got rid of the whole drive through Liquor, beer, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, so I'm offering it again. I'm going to do the group of about five people. I'm offering it three different time zones, one at 8 a.m. Pacific time, one at 12 or 10 a.m. Saturday and 6 p.m. Wednesday. So I have some friends in the UK and Ireland that wanted to, um, to join. So I put the address in the right-hand side and um, yeah, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't really finish it off with Nicole here. I cleared a few emotions. Uh, let us know how it is, uh, Nicole, in the comments here. Like I said, for something acute, you know, it, it, it might help. Hard to say if it's yeah. just been a week. If it's, you know, I've seen more success with that longer term kind of aches and pains. But hey, uh, let us know. Absolutely. Yeah. And Kathleen is still has some discovery. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work with her right after the show. And so yeah. Kathleen, we don't need to connect, but I still have your permission to work on that. Uh, yeah, it might require a bit of a deeper yeah. dive there to get in there. It seems like there's a lot stuck there. And, you know, it, it can take time, right? Sometimes it's a day or two to, to clear yeah, out and we'll, get your we'll body see. to go in there and do all the healing. Yeah. Yeah, asking more questions. Hey, uh, we've got two more episodes this month, 217, 218, here on the Releasing Negative Emotions show. Uh, come back and give us an update if we worked on you. And uh, get in the queue for next week. Let us know how we can help here on uh, our show. Uh, again, if you have any questions about my new body program, check that out. Or, uh, ask me questions in the chat. John, we did it. We met our goal. We talked about how the emotion code worked. We demonstrated it. We lessened some results. And um, yeah, and Nicole's still feeling about a six. Yeah. So again, I, I think current pain, if, if we hadn't known that, we wouldn't have worked on your current pain because because it, it's legit. It's sore, right? And there's swollen muscles. But if it's old, it's not muscles, it's emotion. So we tried. Yeah. Kathleen, so the number's going down for Kathleen there. So there's something moving around. Yeah, and for both women, uh, drink lots of water today. Stay hydrated. So I'm still going to peek in with Kathleen after the show today. Hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out with us here on the Releasing Negative Emotion show. We love having you here. We'll see you next Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, 12 noon Eastern. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, have a great week, everyone.